Hey there guys, this is Solar from Pixie Tuts and only from Pixie Tuts. If you exclude uh, Gravity Beats. Okay, and uh, so, you know, uh, you guys saw the title and here we are in uh, Power Director. And uh, yeah, so this is definitely wor the software. It could have more, but this definitely does the job. You know, it does it and does it pretty good, actually. That's why Top10Reviews.com rated it number one video editor, beating out, uh, you know, Premiere in Vegas and Magic's movie Edit Pro 15 HD, which I tried out, and uh, it was all right. And uh, so here we are. And uh, so, you know, you did that hard, you did that hard work of, uh, you know, going to your Target or a Walmart store and making a video of you taking out your voltage and then putting it into your cart okay so that took you forever to do and you did all your graphic editing actually you know what just to make it a little more interesting because just the raw file didn't do anything to it actually uh, let's add some distortion to it uh, let's do a half tone there we go that took forever to do you know you spent four hours doing this and you want to export it, but you want to export it in good quality. Take a look at the details, right? Pretty good camera, and uh, but you want it to you you want it to export as a good, you know, uh, a a good higher better than that, okay? Which really is impossible, um, unless you want to do like it's like a layer text layer. You want that to be pretty good, and uh, uh, you basically you want in good encoding. So you you're gonna go into produce. And I'm running V8 here, uh, so I'm gonna go into produce here. Now you get eight basic options. And you're not gonna get anything else but these. And uh, so Avi, everyone knows the story with Avi. Uh, it's all right. Uh, takes up a huge amount of space. Quality isn't that great. AVC, you know, mostly for AVC HD cameras or AVC, but it comes out into an M2TS file, which not many things support. WMV. Actually, a lot of things support this. You want to go from Windows Media 9 and HD qual high quality. 7.5 megabytes this thing turns out to be. And uh, that that just depends on you. But uh, uh, I don't use this. It's not the best, I have to say. Because it's HD. But if you look here, if you have to export it, it's going to export it most likely in 1280p and 720. You don't You want it to be, you know, Let's go full out and do 1080i or 1080p. So, RM do not support widescreen, of course. Uh, MOV, this thing, if you're doing Camtasia, this thing will give you the highest possible uh, quality. But uh thing is, is that this thing will do high quality. Okay, but if you go into new ones, it will do it in 640 by 360. And uh, if we go into custom, you don't have to add one. So here we are trying to add one video video size. That's the max we got. So what the hell is the point of doing that? Don't do MOV. MPEG 4 for your PSB or you know iPod, mobile phone. A lot of people use this. Size is always just always give you the smallest size if you're doing a fast render. And uh it's alright. But uh MPEG MPEG one of course, same thing, but uh the one I choose is MPEG-2. It gives you right in the middle. It has the same thing as the Avi. Um, but the thing is, it will, it will give you capabilities of doing high definition. Uh, I just learned today that uh, Samsung just released their UD 3D TV. Which is somewhere around 3,800 uh, pixels. Which is crazy. It was 70 inches. And uh, I want it for Christmas. And that was a joke. Okay, moving on. You have to create a custom. It's gonna say, if you don't have one, it's gonna say you have to create one. What you do is click this button right here. Okay. So what we do is you name whatever you want it to be. I named it 1080p and 720p. You go into video resolution. Now it probably be over here. You want it to max out and you go 920 by 1080. 1080i. Because that's how that's how cool we are. And uh, over here you want to do either highest quality, which is seven, or highest speed, which is zero. By default, it's five. I'm gonna stay with stick with five. And uh, you, you, every time you, it's gonna go, it's gonna automatically go into default. And uh, it has, it has okay things here. 
You can see this. I already have MPEG 2 1080i. I don't know what the difference is. If you guys check out over here, 1080i. 18.1 megabytes. Whereas the custom is 7.3. Whatever you want to do, you want to export it. Default is produced, press start. And uh, I'm watching right now. Uh, I'm not using Camtasia like normal. I just want to test out the solution, so I'm using one right now. And you know, now it's going to go into the rendering queue and process and whatever, so yeah, I don't want to waste your time. So that's pretty much you guys. That's how you do 1080p, 1080i. In a uh, Cyberlink Power Director, this is version eight, and this is Solar from Pixie Tuts. Peace out, guys. Christmas, Christmas time is here.